built houses out of cord cardboard boxes, played baseball in a vacant lot, and climbed trees. I do that a lot with my brother. Rest in peace. I love my brother. So. Okay. When the day was over, I must admit, I was covered with dirt from head to toe. It was sure a lot of fun. There was a company in England which made laundry detergent that concerned that many children today are missing out on the simple pleasures of <coughs> childhood, right? Because their moms didn't want them to get dirty. They began a campaign called Dirt is Good. And they came up with a list of 33 things that you must do before you're 10 years old. Some of the things that were made on the list will surprise you. Number one, of course, roll down a grassy hill. And that fun makes some love goes down. Going down there, oh, it was, it was, it was, Number two on the list, make a mud pie. Have you guys ever done that? I remember that. Use your imagination. It's the most funnest thing to do. Have you ever, what do you think you need to make a mud pie? Three things. Mud, worms, and worms. No, water, dog, and a pan. There you go. She did perfect. All three things. And you clean it up, and you put it in the pan, and the water, you can add sticks in there, maybe some leaves, you know, and you put it outside in the sun for it to dry. But you should never eat the pie for imagination, right? Making mud pies is one great thing you can do with mud. But in our Bible today, our story, Jesus does something even more wonderful with mud. Listen, and we'll see if you guys agree. Jesus walking down with the disciples when he saw a man who had been blind since birth. The disciples thought that man was blind because he or his parents had sinned. But Jesus told them, it is not because he has sinned or his parents sins. This happened so that the power of God could be seen in his life. Then Jesus knelt down, <coughs> spit on the ground, stirred up the mud, and he took the mud and put it on the blind, blind man's eyes. He told them, now, go wash yourself in the pool of Shalom. The man went and washed the mud from his eyes. When he came back, guess what? He could see. He could see, yes. Now, you would think that everyone would think that it was a wonderful thing that he did this and helped the blind man to see. But the Pharisees didn't. Do you know why? Because Jesus healed the blind man on the Sabbath. The Pharisees thought that it was a sin to do anything on the Sabbath, even if it was to help someone else. You see, they were more concerned with keeping the religious thought laws than they were with helping people. When the Pharisees asked the man how he had been healed, he told them that God, that Jesus has healed him. They became angry and said to him, God should get the glory of this. Do you know this means Jesus is a sinner? I don't know whether he is a sinner, said the man, but I know this. I was blind, and now I can see. I don't know what problems you may have, kiddos, in your life today. I don't know they that much because you guys are still beautiful children. But I know that if Jesus can heal a blind man with a little bit of mud, he can help you with anything you're facing today. Amen. Okay, you guys bow your heads. Amen. Heavenly Father, we are here today to need the touch of Jesus. We pray that lives will be changed so that your name will be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you, kiddos.